Hi guys, welcome to Pouring Through Life. I have had no luck pouring today, so I'm gonna go to my trusty favorite. Um, I'm gonna do an open cup pour. Uh, today's colors to are gonna be, I'm gonna do a white base, but I'm gonna add a little bit of iridescent medium to it. My daughter's singing. If you guys are watching this video, Thank you, Sophia. Honey. If you like the content which I'm sharing with you guys, if you like to watch my videos, please remember to subscribe. That way, when I upload my next video, you'll get to see it. Sorry if I was interrupting the video. That's okay, honey. Okay, so I'm going to start with a puddle in the middle here. It's nice and thick. a mound on a mound okay so I have metallic blue by artist lock and I accidentally put in it phalo blue because I wasn't paying attention to what I'm doing so this is metallic phalo blue and then I have artist lock metallic black a little bit thinner because I was trying to do a Dutch pour and I suck at them. Uh, Deco Art 24 karat gold. Please like this video. Apparently not mixed up very good. It's going to be a clump in there. <clears throat> um, pearl white. bit of the violet by master's and touch subscribe. which is actually one of my favorite colors this is the deco art silver There's not very much left in there Do the bronze by Deco Art. What you need, honey? Okay, give me a minute, okay? Okay, give me a minute, okay? Sorry if you interrupted this video. Okay, will you just go sit down and do your schoolwork, please? Oops, I just shook shook some paint that didn't have the lid closed. <sighs> or have it. I got one already, Mom. This is the copper by Deco Art. Okay, if you don't quit bugging me, I'm gonna get upset. Go sit down, do your schoolwork. I will be done in a few minutes. Some more white. White might be too thick, actually. Once I start stretching it out, the colors will start showing up. Pour another pillow over here. And then I'm just gonna repeat. I'm gonna do the blue. I'm going to do the Deco Art Emerald Green Stream Sheen. Twenty-four karat gold. A little bit of that purple. Some 
phthalo green. Teza Deep Pearl Brown. I'm going to add a little bit of white in there again. Just to use up the last of the white that I have. Save a little bit for the edges because this is a pour over. swirl it. The open cup kind of acts like a swipe when you do an open cup because it's pressing against the paint as it tries to push out of the cup when you add the more paint. So you're basically doing a type of a swipe. Just popping the bubbles here, letting the cells to come through, and then I'm going to tilt off a lot of the paint. Okay, so I'm just going to move these bottles out of the way so I don't make a mess. Make sure the lids are closed and clean. Clean up your workspace, you'll make a mess, undoubtedly. If you leave your lids off, you'll make a mess. So I make sure I twist and clean every bottle that I use every single time so I don't destroy the paint. I keep my most commonly used colors easily accessible because I like them. Just gonna torch again. I like doing the dark purple with the white too because it gives you the chance to have many different layers of color. And then layering the metallics in between the non-metallic paints gives you another level of cells and it's really a lot of fun. I enjoy this method. So I think my paint is pretty centered there. Let's see where it's moving. I'm just going to move it around a little bit and let the paint kind of rub on the canvas and open up cells. I will in just a minute, babe. Diaper change. Ava Lynn, do you want to go on timeout for being rude? Uh -uh. Then you need to wait a second. You want to always center your paint back to the middle to see what direction you're going to go next. I'm going to go down to this corner because it's already leaning that way. There's a lot of paint on here. You can you get asked a lot, how do you know how much paint to tip off? Well, you let the canvas tell you. If it's moving super fast, it has too much paint on it. So you want to you want to not leave so much paint on there that the paint can't dry correctly. So once you move and you tilt off what you're going to tilt off and your paint starts to slow down, You'll 
know that you've tilted tilted off enough paint. Mom, that's really pretty. Thank you, honey. No I like problem. it too. It's a lot better than what was on here. I tell you that much. The cells on this are pretty awesome. I did so many different colors with the white it doesn't have a too dark of appearance and you're getting lots of layers of lacing from that white Check in my corners here and make sure they're all covered. Okay. Oh, this is really beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna come through and make sure there's no bubbles that need to be popped again. I'm real happy with how this turned out. This is gonna be beautiful. Once it gets finalized, finished up with resin, all these colors and the dimensions that they're that it created, it's gonna be remarkable. Um, I have my pouring medium here. I do a mixture of Floetrol, Liquitex pouring medium, and glue wall, GAC 800, and water. So if you're interested in what my pouring medium is, there's the overall breakdown of how I make it. I will be putting a video on how I made the pouring medium probably within the next day or so because I just did it. But how about I take you in for a close-up? Isn't she lovely? Mm -hmm. This is a 14 by 14 canvas. It's just beautiful. All right, y'all. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you so much also, i'll see you on the next video have a wonderful day yep.